once again, welcome to Douglas Ebola TV. I have to salute you. It's the end of the week. We have to toast. And give thanks to God for everything that is done to us. This is Douglas Ebola TV, a station like no other, where we throw punches straight up your face. No sugar coating, no editorial restrictions, giving you the real deal so you can deal with it. Now let's get on with it. A revolution is brewing in Kenya. It's percolating. Slowly, it's percolating. A revolution is percolating in Kenya. Slowly, it's percolating. The people are becoming aware. The people are becoming conscious. The citizens are becoming conscious of what is happening. Of late, there's been so many levies given to the youth. So many levies given to the middle age, so many levies given to the old, so many levies given to the population of Kenya in terms of taxes, in terms of compliance, in terms of this and that, and all this cost money. There have been so many scandals in Kenya in terms of corruption. There have been so many disappointments in terms of governance that the Kenyan people are slowly getting tired and tired and tired of everyday corruption news. Everyday corruption news. And the mainstream media keeps on spinning and confusing Kenyans because it's owned by the elite, by the despots. It's owned by the old God who run you. They will never tell you the truth. They will never give you the right information. They will always confuse you and hypnotize you and give you information that you don't need. They'll keep entertaining you with programs and music and they'll keep telling you, oh, this is this and this is that. Keep on asking you silly questions and you give back a feedback with text messages, questions that end up confusing you. It is the role of the media to do research. It is the role of the media to be able to actually be a mirror to the society and give society information that they're not privy to because they have the resources and they have the employees who can do the research and who can go out and find out the truth and give that truth to the masses as part of their obligation. But do the Kenyan media do this? No. What they do is ask you questions, Kenyans. What do you think about this? Do you think this is this? Do you think this is related to this? This is what the media in Kenya has gone down to. It has stooped so low, they're not credible anymore. They're not credible anymore. You'd rather get your real news from social sites such as this and other sites that are being built every day where you can get alternative news and you can get the truth because the mainstream media has failed Kenyans. And why did I say this? I say this because I'm a media practitioner. My background is in media and communication. I understand the media very well and I can read the messages that are being portrayed. I can read deep down. Most of the people don't, dis, don't discern messages and go deep inside the messages to find out what that really means or the perception behind that message or the intention behind this message. But it takes a special skill and it takes a little bit of patience to be able to have a wide, uh, a broader uh, sort of knowledge to understand exactly what is going on and what is being messaged and what is being sent and what are the intentions and what is the outcome that they want. And this is what I'll tell Kenyans. Do not trust your mainstream media. Do not trust your mainstream newspapers. They're engaged in propaganda, in spin. Most of the time, they don't even give you the right information. Most of the time, they give you their own opinion. Hmm? And you're left confused, wondering what has happened. The stories that you want aired and talked about, probably they don't do it. They'll give you some other information. And if you concentrate too much on certain topic and they see that it's detrimental, they'll move on to another topic and confuse you. Something very exciting. Ooh, there was a gentleman who was caught with a woman in Machakos or in Mombasa and they're stuck together. And it's a public, it's a public uh, sort of like news that is broadcasted at 9 p.m. Uh, or 7 p.m. 
where ev when everybody's watching the news and really wants to get information that can help the country, that is the news they give you, sensational news and entertainment news to confuse you. And Kenyans being Kenyans, they forget very quick. Let's not forget very quick, Kenyans. Let's not forget very quick. Let's do our research. Let's get the right information. Yeah? And don't get information from one source. Get information from various sources so that you can be able to understand what is really going on. You can be able to understand what is really going on because there's a lot of propaganda. There's a lot of hypnotizing. There's a lot of brainwashing going on in our Kenyan media right now. That majority of the people, especially those who are not exposed or those who are not well educated, don't understand. And the elite understand this and they support this. But they know it's wrong, but they support it. Why? Because they have to fulfill their agenda. They have to protect their position. They have to eat. They have to continue with corruption. They have to continue with oppressing you. They have to make sure that you don't get education so that you don't become aware and understand your rights and your liberties as a Kenyan citizen. So please, Kenyans, let's wake up. Let's be more, more proactive in terms of participation in things that are civil, things that are there to, pro, to actually move us forward in terms of improving our lives as Kenyans. Please, let's be active in terms of fighting everything that actually dehumanizes Kenyans or exploits Kenyans. Let's be active in fighting uh, this corruption, not by word of mouth, but going out there and removing these people from office by force. Let's do that because that is the only language left because we've been talking for a very long time and that doesn't happen. And when I'm talking about removing by force, I'm not saying you become violent. I'm talking about peaceful process, protests whereby you go to an office and you peacefully protest for that person to resign and you hold the leadership in the country accountable so that that person is actually removed from office because of whatever they've done. That is the only way we can save our country. That is the only way we can push forward and make sure corrupt individuals are removed from office. Otherwise, word of mouth and complaining on social media does not solve much. That is the situation we find ourselves in in Kenya right now. So my message to Kenya is that pay attention to the times that we're living in. Things are going to get worse. Things are going to get tougher. And it's not your fault. You can fight and you can stand up and fight for your rights and your civil liberties. The right to be a Kenyan, the right to pursuit of happiness, the right to a better life, the right to access to all the social amenities that you deserve or you're entitled to. Our forefathers fought for this. You deserve this. So don't be quiet. Don't be oppressed. Don't feel imprisoned. You are a Kenyan and you deserve better. Stand up. Stand up now. There is no other time. Stand up now for your rights and change this country for the better. Change this country for the better. Don't elect these same old leaders. Let's go for new people completely. Let's go for new people completely. Not even people in opposition, not even people in the ruling party. Let's go for new people completely. Let's start a new change in Kenya. That is the only way. But if you keep on electing the same people or part of the people in this game, we are not going anywhere. They are the establishment and they know the system that works for them. Let's put new people who can try and improve our lives. People who have an intention to save this country. People who have an intention to improve the conditions that we're living in. Because Kenyans are tired. Kenyans are very, very oppressed. Kenyans are poor. Kenyans are struggling. And at the same time, they're oppressed not to talk, not to say anything. With threats of jail and threats of prosecution. No. No. This is not what our forefathers fought for. Our forefathers fought for our freedom. Freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of movement, freedom for a better life. 
let's all stand together and say enough is enough. We have to make a decision. And our decision is we want a better Kenya, a new Kenya with totally different leadership and obedience to the constitution and the rule of law in the country. This is Douglas Ebola TV. Find me on YouTube, Douglas Ebola TV, and on Instagram, Douglas Ebola TV. Follow me and subscribe to my channel. Let's keep the conversation going because I believe Kenyans are ready to make that decision. May the peace of the God be with you.